think I just got on the edge of all the cliffs. On the dustiest road, which is all right. It's not even fake. They're actually here, baby. Hey, this is Jordan. Hey, this is Dee. Hey, this is Gaiden. Hey, this is Ava. This, this is Phineas. Phineas. And this is our GWM Cannon, towing our three-ton caravan around Australia. This is called Shark Breeding Ground. We just spent the night on a powered campsite in Elliston because we needed to do like a crap ton of washing. We definitely got our money's worth. Did all of our washing, all of our um, dishes, water tanks full, toilets empty. Really, really got our money's worth from that site. But now, Danique is taking us to the Shark Breeding Ground. can't help yourself except for walking to the edge of the, all, all the cliffs. Today you can just go on the edge of all the cliffs. We just jumped off the highway because we didn't get seen a sign that said Talia Caves and then we drove six caves down a um, dirt road. Nice and windy but we're right now checking out something random. Gotta get this reaction face. Yeah, I was waiting for you to see all the water. Almost fell down. How cool is that one? Hop in the water gates. Drove a tiny little bit up from the caves, and this is our lunch spot. Time for lunch again by the water. It'll be a sick recap. Wow, oh, let's go and eat. All right, this is called Ridey's Bay or Ridey's Point. Um, just north north of Venus Bay. Um, I'm hiding just behind the caravan at the moment. It's got the caravan set up so it's blocking the wind, but it's like a billion percent windy over here. I had to come in on the dustiest road, which is all right. But you've got um, I don't know in the background. It's fucking, it's beautiful. I swear, but it is beautiful. Stunning views and everything. We, um, it's that windy that I, I had the caravan and it was just rocking around so much, so I've decided to leave it hooked up to the ute. So that way, if it uh, if it falls over, it takes the whole car and everything with us, and we got nothing left. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're just going uh, to stay one night. Um, but gosh, it was dusty. Yeah, we've got the wind is hectic. I, I set the van up perfectly because it's my little my little hiding spot. Um, you can go down to the water, I just walked around in the water down there um, and it's not too windy down there. Anyway, this is us. Sorry Finny, you lost your grass. This dog gets all depressed and there's no grass to lay on. And you're too short to get covered by the caravan, you can the wind down there. Alright. Hey, hey. Yes, get it girl, woo! woo! Katie, what do you think of the water? Great. Um, very cold. Very freezing, it's very slippery, you careful. <laughs> God. Wow. It is nice, beautiful, clear water and islands and all the cool stuff. Very slippery. Um, but yeah, this is, um, I don't know, wherever I said we were before, this is where we're at. So we're teaching the kids how to play poker because I it's too windy. <laughs> it's too windy outside to enjoy this beautifulness all out here. But apparently the wind is going to die down tomorrow, so then we can enjoy it. But anyway, poker! It's pack up time. Come on, Finny. Time for us to pack up and live this beautiful place again. Alright. 
Look how dusty the van is. I don't know if you can see that. We're all dusty. Finny's just keen as to go. Finny wants some grass again. It was beautiful to wake up to. It was very windy overnight. Um, but we survived. We didn't flip over or anything. It did feel like that a little bit. Oh, come on, baby. All right, we're gonna go check out a seal thing now. There's a seal thing just 5Ks up the road. Uh, then we'll uh, probably go back to Streaky Bay. I think there's a free camp right, right in town. So um, hopefully it's nice enough for us to leave the van there and then go and explore all the places around Streaky Bay. Might be a good little base for free. And there's uh, a $7 or five or seven dollar water refill spot there so that that'll work for us better than staying at the sites hopefully which are all booked out anyway this is the sea lion adventure place that i was just telling you about and now you get to see it it's not even fake they're actually here baby Hello. okay there is some here <laughs> There's a massive one there. Is that a puppy? Look at that, is that a baby? Where, where, where? where? The white, and there's a little baby one. Hey. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, down there. See the white little baby? I can see more white. There's a thousand of them. Kaden, look at all the ones all the way over on the rocks, all over there. Is that, is that, God, and they're with birds. So this is crazy. I told you you'd love it. Oh. No wonder they said bring binoculars. Here's a close up of one. Haha, <laughs> tricked you all. Nice. It's cool when a lookout actually comes through. Come look at them all the way down there. They look cute, adorable baby guys. They're swimming. How dare they? Oh. Get out of the water. You lunatics! Just in Streaky Bay having a uh, bit of lunch. This is the lunch stop for us. We couldn't get into the caravan park just over here. Very bumpy roads driving out of that spot we we're just at. And look what happened. Mm. What happened, Dan? My poor coffee machine. Jordan's um, installed the coffee machine, just banging in some screws straight into the bench. Don't hire that guy for your next refit. Uh, no, it just needs a washer. We'll refit it just like that. Just needs a big washer on there. <laughs> I, I randomly popped this little screw back here where the cord is. Just as a secondary, just in case, so a few cable ties to hold it uh, in place, and it actually made the coffee machine not fall off the bench. And die in the ass. It would have fallen off the bench if that one little screw holding the cord, so the cord saved it. <laughs> Very lucky. Anyway, this is lunch spot. It might stay here for a little bit, and then we might mosey down to the beach there and park the caravan somewhere, go for a swim, because it's a nice day. We've just driven to the other side of the bay. We were parked us over there for lunch. Now we've driven to this side to go for a swim. And we've got another prime position. This is better than the campsites. <laughs> and here's us. And we're going to be swimming. And we'll catch us later. I don't know what we're doing after this. Finding a free camp? Free. School holidays. <laughs> oh, school holidays. We're struggling to find anywhere to stay. So we're just free camping around the place. And this is the spot we decided to have our showers today. Nice and level. We are in front of some people's houses. Hopefully we're not annoying them too much. But Streaky Bay is full of beautiful views. All right. <laughs> Maybe this is why people don't bring their bikes. Look at the dust on these things. They, change, they completely change colours. One day we'll get those off so the kids can ride them, I guess. Poor van. We're just driving past Paluby, but I had to pull in just to have a quick look, didn't we? Well, you know it's full. Yeah, it's all, yeah, it's chock is full. It's uh, school holidays at the moment. 
no, no camping or overnight parking at this part here. But this is uh, Luby Beach Camp. So we'll spin her around, park it up, and have a quick squizzy. They got this cool beach house you can book in. Book out, book up. Book off, woman. <laughs> Look at the toilets. They got toilets, they got huts. The huts are absolutely chock as full of seaweed. So you'd want to bring your rake if you're going to hire these out. Oh, yeah. So there's all your caravanners over there. Very, very good beach to drive on, though, isn't it? Not hard. You can see why people caravan onto you. Moonlight Bay is better than this in free, in my opinion. Because the water... Oh, yeah, but you got these cool water puddles to play in. I don't know, Moonlight Bay was sort of the water was a bit deeper. It's nice to swim in with this. Let's get back there. We're going to go back to Moonlight Bay.